need to understand that essentially our mode of consumption, our mode of living is entirely based on the separation of means of production and territories of extraction. Your life depends on territories in other places where we extract resources. We have this image that Canada is a humanitarian, peacekeeping nation. That image is completely outdated. Uh, we won the Nobel Peace Prize over 60 years ago, and since then we have grown to become the most important extraction nation on the planet. There is not one country, not one country in the world that doesn't have Canadian mining technologies and services and operations. Many people have said, what does extraction have anything to do with architecture? All these materials that we use come from somewhere. They come through the hands of people that process them, but they are also coming from different territories. Those territories don't belong to us. Most of these territories of extraction are territories of indigenous populations, and they represent effectively 80% of the surface of the planet. One of the challenges that we had with the project and a subject that is so large in scale was how to be able to miniaturize the experience and make it personal. So we've taken something extremely large, literally at a scale of one to one billion, and brought it down to a scale of one to one and made the experience personal. One by one, people will experience this film. They will have to kneel down in front of the British and French and Canadian pavilion in order to essentially see 800 years of history flash in front of their eyes. We're personally interested in understanding how we can change people one person at a time. So, it's not a pavilion, it's a counter pavilion. It's not an exhibition, it's not an installation, it's an intervention. And what's right behind me is essentially a counter monument that we're releasing on the day of the opening of the BNL.